I just asked Bobby, as you know, some of these guys are out now moving around the state of North Carolina and uh, where the next barnstorming stop is going to be because I want to be sure everybody in the area gets the Michael Copeland show. And uh, they're going to be in Gastonia on Friday night. So if you're from Gastonia, look forward to it. If you're not, call your friends in Gastonia and tell them that they're, uh, that they're on their way. I don't know that you as Tar Heel fans, or me personally, felt any better for any Carolina player when this team played its way into a Final Four this year and then won a national championship than I did for our next speaker, Bobby Fraser. After starting all 31 of his games as a freshman, and as most of you know, he was slowed his sophomore year by an injured right foot. He missed 10 games during that season, and then as a junior, he lost those additional 27 games when in late December, he suffered the torn ACL in his left knee against Nevada. The doctors cleared him to return after some rather extensive rehabbing in July, and he brought a strong presence to the team upon his return, especially on defense. 21 times, I hope I got that count right, during his career, he was the defensive player of the game. Folks, his dad won nearly 400 games as a prominent high school coach in Northern Illinois, one of the best in that section of the country. And I am confident that one of these days, we're gonna be standing up here talking about what a successful coach Bobby Frazier becomes. Ladies and gentlemen, from Blue Island, Illinois, Bobby Frazier. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to follow Coco up on that speech right there. So, um, first off, uh, just thanks to the people behind the scenes. Um, Ms. Janet, Ms. Kat, Ms. Debbie, uh, that helped us out so much. Um, Angie, the maintenance guys, helped me build my first cornhole set for the summer. I've been playing outside in the sun all day. Um, uh, Wayne, I don't think you get enough credit for what you really do. Um, you know, I kind of relate your job. Uh, freshman year to a state trooper, nobody really likes what you do to them. Um, but you know, you need to, you need to get it done. And over the past four years, gotten closer to you, and you know, you're a big part of why I'm a graduate of the great University of North Carolina. So thank you. Um, next, we want to go to Hoots. Uh, Hoots, you know, guy that does it all for you. Uh, nicest guy in the world. Um, he's the first guy I met coming down to Carolina, and he's been here ever since. And uh, love him to death. He's a great guy. Um, can't wait to celebrate his bachelor party off in Las Vegas in two weeks, so it's, it's going to be a good time. Uh, managers, um, thank you so much. I, I think you guys secretly hate me, um, because every time you throw me a bad pass, I'll tell you the worst passing managers I've ever had, or, or something like that, or you're worse than terribly passing out water, but deep down below you guys, and you know, I'm just trying, trying to motivate you. Um, uh, next, let's, let's go with uh, Jonas. Um, Jonas, I relate to, he's like, he's like a wife. You see him every day. It's a relationship you really have to work at. Um, you know, sometimes you love him, sometimes you hate him, sometimes you go to him for advice, sometimes you want to get away from him, but uh, I remember freshman year going to Jonas, like I said, and he said, Jonas, I need to get bigger, faster, stronger, everything, and uh, he told me, he said, Bobby, he said, Rome wasn't built in the day. Um, in front of you today, I don't think you see Rome. Uh, it's a physical statue, but uh, you know he's, he's made me come night and day from where I was freshman year. Um, and I really, really appreciate that. And you're a huge part of my success and this whole team's success. So thank you. With that said, um, I got to complain to you about something. Uh, four years ago, my freshman year, uh, during fall break, the rest of the team they went home. Uh, and so I was bored. Wes Miller was still in town with me. So me, Wes. Preston, I'm throwing everybody out under the bus here. Uh, Oops, we got a comment said, hey, let's go do something fun. So I got a picture. Uh, might bring back some memories for you. <laughs> yeah, that, that's me, that's your car, that's your house in the background. Uh, I know I'm going to be paying for this one, uh, so. <laughs> He's reserved sitting in the seat right now. He'd probably go with the samurai sword he has in his office right now. Which is, um, but no, I, I mean, thought y'all can decide. You meant so much to me. I appreciate it. Uh, next, I want to talk about my teammates. I can sit here and talk about them for days and days on end. Like I said, I could write a book about the story of these guys. Sell way better than Wes Miller's book. Um, <laughs> but, but the guys that I know the most to me, these seniors, the guys that came in with, Cole, Dan, Tyler, Marcus, uh, 
you know, I think Marcus should get a default senior award that we got here tonight because I think he'll always be remembered in class. Coach Rob, uh, JB said, you know, this nicest guy, smile on your face. Um, you do have a million dollar smile when you do that, but you are truly Coach Wayne's henchman, hitman, whatever you want to call it during practice. Um, you'll, think, you'll think you got away with a mistake, but there's Coach Rob with the frown, raising his hand, signaling you out, and, uh, but I appreciate that. And off the court, you know, it's been a blast playing for you for four years, and I appreciate that. Uh, Coach Holiday, uh, if you guys remember last year, Coach Q always called him you know, the smoothest coach in the world, but the story comes to mind. At Kentucky last year, uh, Coach Williams asked him, you know, Coach Holiday, you want to go walking? And these two go walking every day together. We've seen him on Chapel Hill. Coach Holiday said no. And I was like, well, nobody says no to Coach Williams. That's like breaking one of the Ten Commandments. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's like, why? Well, Coach Holiday had forgotten his bag in the locker room and had no clothes of that trip. So, smoothest coach on the staff, uh, I don't know if that's quite the right staff. Uh, finally, uh, Coach Williams, um, you know, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, you know, I came to Carolina as a shooter, score, all this and that, and kind of had to redefine myself as a player. And, you know, it's been, it's been a battle, it's been a challenge. Um, but for you to stick with me uh, as, a, as a player that means so much to me. 30 years down the road, hopefully when I'm coaching, I can remember that and, you know, and still have one of my players. Uh, so thank you so much. Um, finally, but not, last but not least, my parents. Um, my mom, <laughs> love you to death. She's worried sick about me, where I'm gonna be next year. And you know, I'm kind of living day by day right now. Uh, but she tells me uh, always to do something you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And I always remember that from her. And I, I think I love college basketball. I love basketball. I want to be around the game. So hopefully I can be coaching one day. Uh, and then my dad, my number one coach, um, the greatest influence on what I want to do with my life. I've seen you, Coach Williams, do it the right way. Um, I've, I've been so lucky to be around great people um, who, who know what they're doing. And you, you know, you've taught me so much. And, you know, I appreciate it. So. Uh, lastly, the fans, um, you know, I came, when I came to Carolina, I didn't really know what to expect the South, uh, a little different than the North, you guys are so nice, this is, this is insane Chicago, but, but you've taken a Northerner, accepted him with open arms, and you know, I'd love to call Chapel Hill home, and so thank you so much, uh, got so many memories, I got a ring, got a national championship banner, and you know, these have been, like Tyler said, the best four years of my life, so thank you very much. <laughs>